Hey everybody, this is GGB. We're going to be getting into our first Friday game. At 7 o'clock, we got Indiana State, who went 0-1, traveling to Indiana, who also started their season off with a loss, but it was a much better loss. Indiana favored by 30.5 points on Big Ten Network. Brendan Soresby for Indiana went 8-15, threw for 58 yards last week. Ouch. Christian Turner had 7 carries for 29 yards, and Cam Camper had 3 catches for 35 yards. Not a baller offensive day, as a great Jim Mora said in an amazing speech. Um, can't, blame the, can't blame that game on the defense. Indiana's defense played insanely well, considering they were playing Ohio State. They let up 10 points <laughs> in the entire first half, and arguably it should have only been 7. The Indiana offense gifted them an excellent field position near midfield when they could have just punted and made sure Indi Ohio State didn't get any points before halftime. Um, this is a really good Indiana defense. Um, the offense needs some serious work. The defense kept that game close. Closer than it should have been for the majority of that football game. The Indiana defense played out of their minds great football. Their offense had 58 yards passing. They had Their leading rusher had 29 yards on the ground. You don't win football games with those statistics. You lose them. And Indiana lost last week, and it's in large part because of their offense. If their offense had been halfway competent, they could have actually had the chance to pull off the upset against Ohio State. Their defense kept it close enough. Their defense got some big-time stops in big-time situations, and their offense let them down hard. And if you're going to win in this league, I understand Minnesota wins largely off their defense. Wisconsin wins a lot on their defense. Iowa wins a lot on their defense. Um, but those are like statistically great defenses, and their offenses outside of Minnesota are competent. Iowa and Wisconsin now have competent offenses. Um, and even then, those are two... You're not winning some Big Ten games with just defense. You're not beating Michigan. You're not beating Penn State. And you're not beating Maryland with just playing defense. And you're not going to win your other side games either if you just play defense if you're Indiana. You're, if you want to get to bowl eligibility, which it's going to be an uphill battle. You have a, It's a tough Big Ten this year. Um, you got to play better offense, and I think they at least get some better offense in this one. Indiana State's not a super good football team. Give me Brendan Soresby to actually put up some decent stats and the Hoosiers to win and cover the 30.5 point spread.